Welcome back to my channel guys. I'm Elissa from Cozy Creations, but you can just call me E. Today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite topics and that is Etsy. So many times I hear people say they're afraid to sell on Etsy. They don't want to sell on Etsy because they've heard horror stories or there's too many fees or it's oversaturated, but I'm here to set the record straight and give you three reasons why you shouldn't be afraid of Etsy and why it's actually a really great tool to help you get your business started. All right, let's get right into it. But my number one reason why I think that Etsy is a great place for new sellers is that it's easy to use. You don't have to go through coding. You don't have to go through buying a domain name. You just log in, set up your info, set up your bank account info, and then you can fill out your shop, do your about me section, your profile, add your pictures. It's all there in one place and it's really easy. You don't have to set it up from scratch. When you set up your listings in your shop, it's really easy because it literally walks you through everything you need to put for your listings. So it gives you a place to put photos. It gives some suggestions of what type of photos work best. It gives you titles when you want to fill out all your titles. It gives you categories so you can pick your category so that it's easily able to find and people know what it is. You pick your dimensions if it's a certain project. You know, it gives you description and it gives you a set place to walk through and fill out everything you need for your listings. It's also great because there's shipping labels on Etsy. You don't have to worry about finding shipping labels through any other site or doing that. You can just upload the shipping information and, and then whenever somebody buys your product, it's right there. You click get shipping label, you fill out the dimensions and they'll wait and print it out and it's ready to go and Etsy does all that for you. They also give you a discount on shipping, which is cheaper than taking it to the post office. And so that's really great as well. Yeah, overall, I just think it's really easy and beginner friendly to use. And it's really easy to set up. You really don't have to have a whole lot of, um, you know, computer coding, website building knowledge. You just fill stuff out and upload pictures and then you're ready to go. The second reason why I think Etsy is a really great tool for new beginners and just shops in general is because they drive traffic to your website as well as you driving traffic. So if you have your shop set up right, your SEO, your tags, all that filled out, Etsy can actually drive traffic to your shop for you and that's gonna help you get more customers. So if you're already like not sure if you're gonna be able to drive a whole lot of traffic to your shop, then Etsy's a great place to start because it's also gonna help you bring in more people and get more eyes on your shop. Whereas if you were just promoting a standalone shop, the only traffic coming to that shop would be driven from you. This is a little bit of tough love, but I always say if you can't drive traffic to an Etsy shop, how are you going to drive traffic to another shop? Um, a lot of people are like, oh, Etsy is oversaturated. Etsy brings in other people and shows them other shops. And while yes, it may show them other shops, those people may not have ever actually seen your shop if it hadn't been on Etsy because they may be looking for something. They go into Etsy. They don't necessarily have a shop in mind that they're going to shop from. They're going to say, hey, I need a candle and they're going to type in whatever candle and then it's going to show up with a list of other shops in your shop maybe one of those that catches their eye and that they pick from whereas if you aren't on etsy that person searching up a candle might never see your shop because they might not be following you on instagram or following you on facebook so it's really great the that's a really great thing about etsy is that they bring in their own traffic also, when you're a new seller, I feel like a lot of times if people don't necessarily know you, they might be a little bit wary about buying from a new website. So if you're on Etsy, people know Etsy, people trust Etsy, and they're comfortable giving their money to a shop that's on Etsy because there's a better chance if something does go wrong that they'll get a refund or that they get their money because there's actually, they can write a dispute with Etsy, which can be scary, but as long as you are shipping your products on time, you're filling out your description, your pictures, you've got clearly listed what your item is, you don't really have to worry about any of that. But it does give sellers a sense of ease. So when they're shopping, they might be more likely to purchase from an Etsy shop than a standalone shop because they don't really know you and they don't really have that trust built with you yet. One of the biggest things I hear people say and complain about Etsy is the fees. But you know what? I'm here to tell you, if you don't want to have fees, you probably shouldn't open an e-commerce site or take payments online at all. Everywhere you go, you are going to have some sort of fees or monthly payment or transaction credit card processing fees or even fees just to transfer the money to your bank account. So Etsy fees, people always say Etsy fees are, oh, they're so terrible. They're so high. They're so terrible. They're really not. And if you just think about the fees ahead of time and maybe add a little bit extra to your price, then the fees really aren't that big of a deal. I personally don't 
add extra to my prices on Etsy. I just make sure that the price of my items is enough to cover fees and expenses and still make a profit on that. So I'm going to walk you through the basic Etsy fees right here and show you that they're really not that bad and compare them to even some other sites and their fees. Okay, so to list on Etsy, to list one item is 20 cents. So let's say you're going to list, you have five items you want to list on Etsy. So that's 20 cents each. So that is a dollar. So if you list those items and you don't sell anything, you're only out a dollar. That's all you have to pay. So that's why another reason why I think Etsy is really good, because if you're not sure if your items are going to sell, you list them on Etsy, 20 cents each. That's it. You're only out a dollar if you list five items. The transaction fee of the total item cost, and this is only after you sell your items, was 5% of the total item cost. So there's a shipping transaction fee as well, and that is 5% of the total shipping cost. And then there's also a payment processing fee of 3% plus 25 cents US dollars. Now the payment processing fee is pretty much credit card processing fee. You will have those fees every single place you go. If you are accepting credit cards, you will have to pay credit card processing fees just about everywhere you go. So let's walk through this. So if you list a $25 item, first things first, you're gonna have to pay 20 cent listing fee. That's all you have to pay until you sell an item. Then once you sell your item, you're gonna do 5% of the total item cost. So if you have that $25 item, that's gonna be a dollar and 25 cents. Next, we're gonna do the shipping fee. If you do free shipping, you do not have to pay the shipping fee, but the cost of the shipping will still come out of your price, your total price of the item cost, but you will not have the shipping transaction fee. But so let's just say this item, the shipping cost for this item is $3.50. So the shipping fee for that would be 18 cents. Then next, we're gonna have a payment processing fee, which is basically your credit card fee. And that is going to be $1.11. So the total cost of fees for your $25 item would be $2.74. It's not a lot, right? So if you sell that one item, all you have to pay is that $2.74. And Etsy will take that cost out of your total balance. So once you get that balance, Etsy will take that out. You don't have to worry about paying it. You don't have to try to remember to pay your monthly bill. It'll just automatically take that out before it deposits the money into your account. So after fees, the money made on a $25 item, you would get $22.26. .22, .22, so $22 out of, of a $25 item, that's not bad. That's a pretty good price. So let's compare this to some other e-commerce sites. Shopify, just to start out, $29 a month. So if you open up the Shopify account, you set that Shopify account up, and you don't sell anything, you still have to pay that $29 a month. That $29 a month is there regardless of if you sell anything or not. So if you already bring traffic in, you're already selling a whole bunch of stuff and you're spending more than $30 in Etsy fees and you know that you are bringing that traffic to your Etsy shop, then a Shopify account or Squarespace or some other form might be good for you. But there's also credit card processing fees on Shopify as well and that is 2.9% plus 30 cents US dollars. Um, that is just standard. Like I said, you're going to have credit card processing fees just about everywhere you go. Squarespace is $18 a month for the basic e-commerce. This is basic, bare minimum. Like you have extras that you can upgrade to, but um, that's an extra. I think it goes up to $26 a month after that. And then they also have 3% transaction fees on Squarespace. So yeah, all in all, if you're not directing majority of your traffic, I'd say go with Etsy. If you're not sure if you're going to sell stuff, I'd say go with Etsy. If you're not going to be selling more, um, making more profit with you directing your own traffic and your fees are going to be less than $30, I'd say go with Etsy. Now, if you want to do both, I know a lot of people that do, once they know that they can drive their own traffic, they do have an Etsy shop and a Shopify so that Etsy still brings them in traffic and then they only promote their Shopify or their Squarespace. So all, they send all their traffic to Shopify and Squarespace and Etsy brings in traffic to their Etsy shop and it just builds them more customers and builds their customer base and gives them a wider audience that they might not have reached if they weren't on Etsy. So all in all, I think Etsy is a really good platform, especially for beginners and new shops. Um, if you have any questions or have any more 
suggestions about videos that you'd like to see, leave them in the comments below. But if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, hit subscribe, and turn on the click the bell to turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you next time.